Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to TV News with some last events in Tainan province and now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to proactively cope with the acute pneumonia caused by the new strain of novel coronavirus, the standing vice chairman of the Tainan People's Committee, Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, head of the Provincial Steering Committee for Disease Prevention and Control of Tainan province, has checked the disease prevention and control situation at the health facilities in Tainan province. Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc visited the prevention and control of acute respiratory pneumonia due to a new strain of coronavirus at Tenen Province General Hospital, Bến Cầu District Medical Center, Mộc Bài International Border Gate, and Trang Bang District Health Center. At the inspection site, Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc conducted a field survey at the clinic, received and isolated potential and infected patients with acute respiratory pneumonia due to new strain of coronavirus. The standard vice chairman of the Provincial People's Committee instructed health facilities to have a plan to practice and implement the situation response when there are patients, implementing the quarantine well to prevent the spread of diseases, having a specialized team to treat patients and not performing other duties, assign the Department of Health to carry out the disease response plan, and provide necessary and qualified equipment for officials, doctors, and health workers to perform their duties update disease situation as well as report prevention to steering committee for quick and necessary instructions. The concern branches at Mobile International Border Gate need specific and effective measures to control buses by, especially foreigners, to conduct the rule inspection on pneumonia epidemic, acute respiratory tract caused by new strain of coronavirus, implement isolation when detecting patients and reporting to the steering committee for disease prevention and control in Tainan province. Facing a very complicated disease situation, Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc directed the Department of Health and other related sectors to focus on prevention and control. The steering committee will continue the inspection to actually deal with the situation. The new strain of coronavirus 2019 and COVID is dangerous and spread at a deceiving speed around the world. On January 21st, the number of confirmed deaths in China increased to 213. After the Hubei Provincial Government, the Center of Epidemics in Central China announced an additional 42 new deaths. Besides, the Hubei Provincial Government also confirmed there were 1,220 new cases, a slight increase compared to the previous day. As of January 21st, the coronavirus strain causing pneumonia originating in China has caused 213 deaths and more than 9,800 infections in 22 countries and territories around the world. Since the outbreak of the complicated situation, the World Health Organization WHO decided to declare a global emergency because of respiratory infections due to new strain of coronavirus. The Ministry of Health will establish 40 emergency response teams to help deal with the quick spread of coronavirus. The setup of 40 emergency response teams are to help isolate people suspected to be infected with the deadly virus. Along with the sterilization and patient transportation, the Ministry will continue finalizing the treatment regime for the epidemic. Meanwhile, the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam has taken steps to stop on regular flights and halt the granting of permission for new flights between the nation and areas in China that have been affected by novel coronavirus epidemic. The move come following the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam Aviation Department recently issuing a written document requesting that airlines make adjustments to their flight plans in a bid to ensure that on plans to Vietnam from areas that have been hit by the novel coronavirus are suspended. In addition to these changes, strict controls at border gates via road, waterways, and air must be tightened, while suspected cases should be dealt with by being put into isolation in a timely manner. In reporting at the meeting of the Provincial Party Executive Committee, Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc, Vice Chairman of Provincial People's Committee, said that all activities to welcome the Lunar New Year of 2020 in the province took place in a joyful, safe, economical manner and wholesome atmosphere. According to the report, 
the activities to welcome the Lunar New Year of 2020, combined with the 90th anniversary of founding of the Communist Party of Vietnam in the province has been well implemented. The province also organized mobile photo exhibition in nine districts and city. Organizing delegations to visit and gratulate religious organizations in the province, units of the armed forces and on duty on the death holiday, visit policy families and wish the life for citizens to turn to 100 years old. Implementing the policy of everyone, every family can enjoy the death holiday welcoming the spring. During the death holiday, the whole province mobilized over 80 billion Vietnam dong to give the death gifts, take care of the policy families, poor households, and social protection benefit carriers. Also, according to the Provincial People's Committee, the traffic situation and communications during the death holidays are guaranteed smoothly. System of provincial data integration centers, provincial information portals, and stable operation proponent posts. The political security situation is stable. As speaking at a meeting, the Secretary of Provincial Party Committee, Mr. Phan Viet Thanh, highly appreciated the working spirit of the forces and functional agencies in collaboration with the party committees and local authorities to well fulfill the peak task on the occasion of the Lunar New Year of the Red of 2020. In particular, the whole political system has taken care of so everyone and every family can enjoy the Spring Festival, welcome the warm, healthy and safe death holidays, especially to better care for the family policies, Organize many spring fun activities, highlighting is the successful organization of Badang Mountain Spring Festival. Among the groups of solutions to effectively implement the social economic plan of 2020 in Tenen Province, the People's Committee of Tenen Province directs the maintenance of the operation efficiency of the Provincial Public Administration Center. As of January 15, 2020, the reception and delivery of results of group of administrative procedures on land of Tenen City to implement at the Public Administration Center of Tenen Province. In addition, the province continues to promote the application of information technology in managing and operating activities of state agencies, electronic office software, electronic one-stop software, ensure 100% administrative procedures under its jurisdiction to implement through the public administration center of the province, upgrading the provincial online public service portal and electronic one-stop system in handling administrative procedures. According to the General Statistics Office, Vietnam total retail sales of goods and services were estimated to have reached over 448 trillion Vietnam dong, equivalent to over 19.3 billion US dollar in January, a year-on-year increase of 10.2%. The retail sales of goods were reported at about 346 trillion Vietnam dong, an increase of 6.3% compared to the previous month and up to 10.7% year-on-year. During the five-month period, Retail sales of food and foodstuff went up by 13.3%, household appliance and equipment rose by 12.8%, apparel increased by 11.4%, and transportation soared by 11.2%, and cultural and education products advanced by 10.6%. Meanwhile, sales of accommodation and restaurant services reached about 50.6 trillion Vietnam dong, a year on year increase of 6.8%. And sales of travel and tourism services were posted at 4.2 trillion Vietnam dong, a year on year increase by 7.4%. The General Statistics Office said that increase in retail sales of goods and services in the first month of this year were attributed to an abundance of goods supply in addition to the traditional Lunar New Year of death holidays associated with increasing demand for entertainment and catering activities. And ladies and gentlemen, the report of the Provincial People's Committee has announced that after nearly five years of implementing the 2015 and 2020 social economic plan, though facing many challenges, the social economy in the province has continued to grow. The province's economy stably developed, and the economic structural shifts have been in the right direction. The regional economic growth are pretty. And we come to the reporters about connecting firms to establish value chains and promote innovation take advantage of opportunities and a major growth trend in 2020. 
In 2019, the province's agroforestry and fishery production value just for 4% or 2.6% of the local economic structure. Industry continues to maintain the highest growth rates and higher than the general GRTP curve. Industrial parks and complexes play an increasingly important role, accounting for 64% of the total industrial production value of the whole industry. The renewable energy industry has promoted the province's potential and created a new growth engine. The province has approved the project of developing agricultural value chain and cluster in the province, which is an important basis to promote the potential and strength of provincial agricultural products and attract investment in agriculture. The trend of converting plants to plants with positive economic values has changed. Institutional reforms will continue to be the major growth driver in 2020 and beyond, while a focus would be placed on removing barriers and connecting firms to establish value chains. According to officials of the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, entering the 2020, the government showed determination in pushing for reforms with the promulgation and resolution number two on the first date of the year, which targeted to lift the country east of two in business ranking by the World Bank by 10 spots from the current of 70 positions. Esper also noted that the business climate of our country still faces problems, as around 60% of firms did not report profits. While imports and exports were heavily dependent on several markets, uncertainties in local markets and the slowdown of the global economy were also concerned. Internal pressure from the central government, external pressure from integration and expectation of the residents would give major impact to us to reforms. Strengthening institutional reform was a top priority for 2020 and many years to come. The key words to reform this year should be remove and connect. Specifically, it was critical to remove barriers for businesses so as to promote investments and connect small and medium-sized enterprises with foreign direct investors, especially in the circumstance for full industrial revolution and the effects of the free trade agreements. Connecting foreign invested companies with the domestic firms should be considered as an indispensable criterion in selecting the new generation FDI inflow, which reflected the corporate responsibility of FDI companies to their second home. It would also be the way to promote sustainable development of FDI in Vietnam. And five proposals are given by experts to boost reform this year. Firstly, priority should be placed on tackling overlaps and inconsistencies with legal system regarding investment, business, construction, law, environment, housing, and binding. Secondly, it was important to enhance simplification and removal of business prerequisites and check before import exports to reduce costs and time for businesses. The government targeted to reduce at least 20% of procedures, as well as cut time and costs for businesses in 2020. And thirdly, from also hope for the digitalization and the development of e-government be better. In addition, the process of transferring public services to the private sectors to supply should be promoted. And last but not least, it was important to decentralize power. VCCI also proposed amendments to laws on enterprise, investments, and public-private partnership should be developed with a new mindset and completed to approval. The province should also undertake more efforts to renew its institutions and promote innovation to take advantage of opportunities and overcome challenges in 2020 towards the goal of growing economy and a prosperous province in the near future. And that's all for the news of today. Thank you for joining us and see you more next time.